Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. The World of Final Fantasy. Here on Pastiche of Skin. Thank you very much for watching so far. We're just after finishing chapter four. We took a little segue, swagway, movement to the side for a little bit there to go and do something. And we're not going to be doing that again just anytime soon because if I see that motherfucking black chocobo anywhere within my sights, I'm going to burn the bitch to the fucking ground. So yeah, we're going to head back on to continue on chapter five. <laughs> Have you thought that was like a little bit of an intense reaction to a baby black chocolate chick? Just go and watch the last chapter. Just go, just go and look at that little bastard. Um, so yeah, we're going to continue on to Cornelia. We're going to head to Ninewood Hills first. Um, maybe pick up some items. Uh, there's not much else new to really grab. I might grab a, a stack of potions or whatever else. So and then we're going to head back. Why don't we go back to Cornelia and see Princess Sarah? Says so exactly what I was going to do. Rage is so, so goddamn strong. <sighs> Just relax myself. Herp derp? Did something just happen there? Um. What is this place? Not where we wanted to be. Lon, are you alright? Um, yeah. Did you just see that? Should you two be here? A Tonberry? Quite so. A Tonberry through and through. Now should you children be this far afield? Uh, far of what now? He's asking if we're lost. Yeah. I guess he's got a point. I have no idea where we are. As I thought. Then you should both come with me at once. It's not safe here. I love the voice in the Tonberry though. It's a really good choice. In fact, I think it's a little bit like mine when I drop the tone a little. You should follow me. It is not safe here. I also carry a knife. I give you the, the Colosseum. Oh, sweet. So we can trade in and get our fucking um, extra wee bits and pieces? <gasps> Shit, yeah! This looks fucking awesome. Okay, cool. Right. Coliseum, Coliseum. So this is, I'm assuming this is a place where we can tree in, where we can fight enemies that are much stronger than us, and we can uh, pick up items from like special tickets. You can have another crack at fighting past adversaries. These opponents unlock as you progress through the story or defeat them. Additionally, as you complete chapters, you will unlock unique challenges against teams of mirages that range from the brutal to the bizarre. Yeah, rules of Coliseum, you can repeat a challenge you have already completed, but you will receive a different reward for repeat victories. All right, you begin matches with full HP and AP and no stars in your champion gauge. Once the fight is over, those values will return to what they were before the match. You're not allowed to use this skip command. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> I, love, I love the fact that the, the weed tiny, hi! In multiplayer, you and your friends can have your mirages battle it out. You need to create at least one multiplayer team by placing a mirage in each of the team's two stacks. You can save up to three multiplayer teams, each with its own custom daily shortcuts, custom ability shortcuts. You're allowed to use the same mirage in multiple multiplayer teams. Special rules apply during multiplayer. All stacks begin with four AP. Your stacks are shown on the right, and your opponents on the left. Battles have a time limit of five limits. All mirages will be set to level 50 regardless of their current level. Awesome. Fast forwarding, auto battle mode, and the mirage info screen are disabled. Yeah. Special rules apply during multiplayer. You cannot call upon champions or mega mirages. Right. You cannot use the prism or skip commands. No items are allowed except those provided at the start of the match. Lan and Rian cannot participate in the battle. Some special abilities like Libra are disabled or have no effect. Battles are set to active mode and locked at battle speed 3. The first is the duel, where you and your opponent use two stacks each to duke it out. Stack versus stack one, stack two versus stack two, stack one versus stack one and two versus stack one and two. Points are then tallied up to determine a winner in the cast of a tie. A final match will be held and reach a final judgment. As point matches, battlefronts when playing online matches are held in rooms known as battlefronts. You can optionally assign your battlefront a number, which friends can then use to search for you easily. When trading mirages, there is trading mirage. This is goddamn Pokemon, and they built it. 
they built a Pokemon. They, they, <laughs> they built a fucking Poke Center. Oh man, can I trade Mirage with a higher level than the other players ran or land? So the the twins level is what determines your trade level. Okay, custom abilities granted by ability seeds will be traded along with the Mirages. Unique Mirages like Tama cannot be traded away. After a trade is complete, you will receive an empty prism for the Mirage you traded. Mirages receive from trades are sent to your prism case. So every time you trade, you get an empty prism as well. That's cool. You can automatically save in the following situations. After selecting play online, at the end of a multiplayer match, after completing a trade. Do not turn off because you be a dick and steal somebody else's game. No, we do not want to play multiplayer just yet, but that is awesome. Yes, what is it? Guys, sign up, connect me. We are playing this game. You can play with me. I will happily take my uh, Mirages against the, under the Coliseum against your guys. I need time to prepare, but they're locked at level 50, so it's pretty much just a skill set. I am so on board with this. Um, all right, uh, what would you like to do? Coliseum rules? Yeah, I already know the Coliseum rules. Pass adversaries, yeah, bam. Yeah. Well, I'd Farewell. Farewell. So where do I pick up my tokens? Where, where? Can I go there? No, I can't. This is a cage. Um, I'm assuming that takes me... What is this? Oh, it's just a dead end. I was curious there what was going on. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to go into the Coliseum. Um, I'm assuming there's Coliseum tokens that I have. Oh, right. Level 11. Ha! <laughs> Santa wannabe. So are these... Oh, right. I don't get to... I don't get anything for these. I just immediately have to fight them because look, that's the... Tomberry, that's um, the Magitech. Right. Hmm. Final Fantasy Mascots 1. All right, let's attempt the, the first one. It's level 11, so I'm probably gonna get my ass whomped here. But I don't lose lives in the Coliseum, I don't think. I guess we're doing this. Come on! Oh, nice! Oh, sorry, I'm at it. So I can capture these guys as well, if I want to. Right, um... Double smash it is! <laughs> smash all of the stacks. Ow. Oh, crap. They got healing abilities. <laughs> um, that's not good. I need to actually uh, focus on direct violence of some sort. These guys are a higher level than me. They can heal for like 300. I can only do like 300 damage at most to each one of them. Uh, let's have a look at one of those stacks here. See if we can... I want to bet the stack as well won't show... Yeah, because it's a chocobo stack, I have to separate them first. Uh, ice. Oh, uh, okay, so they're weak against dark. Bam, we found our thing. Dark it is. That all you got? Good luck. Bam, right, cool. So we attack with dark, and we attack with uh, full attack from her. We can probably take one of these stacks out at a time. Right, uh, abilities, uh, Channel Earth. Let's see if she can knock somebody nice down. Nice knowing ya. You're done! Oh, Earth doesn't work on these guys. Okay, in that case, we focus. Oh, crap. Abilities, cure, throw that onto him. Come on. Down they go. Right. So we need to focus on knocking over one of these stacks. Oh, crap. I've got this. Come. 
potion on herself. There. Boom. Oh, nice critical. That's exactly what I needed. Alright, we're down to one. That makes it a little bit easier. So now we need to separate these guys. Oh, crap. <laughs> I need an ability that actually will knock them down a wee bit. I don't have anything that actually... I mean, that's the only thing that can knock them down that I have. So maybe hypnosis might be the answer. I'm gonna sleep for a little while. Boom! Sorted. Give me a chance to restack. And... Double strength low. Medium. Double smash. Double smash for the job. Not done yet. Oh crap! Oh man, why did one of them have to be critical? Predictable. Yeah. But I suppose it's a good place to actually get items that I can resell afterwards. Because the Phoenix Pinion is useful. Well done. That wasn't so bad. So <sighs> these are all level 14 stuff. Not worth kind of like get myself beaten down by. Um I'll come back here whenever I've got a little bit more power. Actually, no. I'll jump in here and I'll take this guy. I'll, I'll try this Let's one again begin. because it essentially fills my AP each time I do this. And I'm pretty sure I can capture both of these if I plan it out a little bit better. But I know at least what I can do to wheel them down really quickly. You absolute bastard! Stop it! Knock them down! God damn it. Down you go. Please now I can Libra them and actually then find out what it is they need to do. 
So even if I lose this fight, I don't care. It's just a. Uh, it's for the Libra. Mucho Libra. This is it. Are you kidding me? It's another one of those. Gishel greens. How many Gishel greens? So pretty much, I need to. All right. That's interesting. <gasps> no! Oh, are you kidding me? He's the wrong thing. Well, goodbye, Chocobo. You go down. Ow. I think I've got this handled. Bam! And down you go! Chocobo stack. At least I feel safe now. So, Moogle, how much health you got? So, one full hit from her takes him down to about half health. So. Attack. <gasps> no! Oh, that was goddamn close. At least this will work. One, two, three. We have a Moogle! Yeah! Moogle time, Moogle time. Happy little Moogle times. Awesome. No trouble at all. That was actually pretty. That was annoying, but very, very satisfying to do at the same time. Also worth it for the Phoenix Stones and the Gill. But yeah, we got a Moogle. So what's his uh, skills? So yeah, that's see Forest Nocture or uh, Forest Nocture and Wind Rhapsody. Bam! I am so glad to have those. Uh, that Moogle is going straight into my party. I'm assuming it's a uh, Moggle Mog is probably the evolved version of it. But yeah. Yes, well worth it for an extra. Like I recommend going to the Coliseum and getting this bad boy because uh, with a, a quick heal and a all attack, this is a good magic capture. So what I got, uh, Mogomog or Mo well, his Moogle. So um, yeah, you know what, Mog Station. <laughs> Does anybody else remember Mog Station at all? No, the little. Do that little additional thing that was kind of part of the. Um, you had the chocobo well on the ground in. You know, Mog station. That wasn't so bad. No? Alright, fine then. Uh, that wasn't so bad at all. So, yeah, all these are too high. The levels of these competitions is too Come damn back high. Soon. Um, yes, so stack setups now. 
So what is my maid stack, really? This is my maid stack, so I need to actually make a swap around here. She needs to change from being a maid stack to being a... And then for top, I want... Log station! Station! And then for the medium... Ooh! Okay. So... Everything's up for that, but it's a level 8, that's the reason why. But for him, it is... Strength, magic, 24, 19. He's two levels down. My strength goes up higher with uh, the beast. So go with him. And Thomas going nowhere. Thomas, <laughs> Thomas stays. Okay. Bam. That works for me. And now we run into the Mirage Boards and take a look and see what we can do. Um, he's got about six to go, so we'll throw him here. Strength. HP, defense. Yeah. That'll be worth it. So we've got six, we've got three and three. And then we can go for revenge blast. It's uh, not very good for toppling. Three and four. I think the stats are important on this one just for now. And I might come back. I'll come back for that whenever I do the lap around. So that's four, three. Actually, so probably, yeah, I probably will go back this way. It'll be three, four, and then I'll work my way around. Because by that point, I'll actually be leveling up. Cool beans. Works for me. Um, nope, that's not who I wanted. Still on the Mirage boards, but I want to see Thomas. Anything we can do for three? Accuracy, strength. Oh, uh, the AP hike? Yeah. I think we'll go with strength, actually. So we can get a bit of a better punch. I'm going to do all of the ones on each of these characters anyway, but I was just thinking about the path. It's probably the best for the moment. Um, yes, and the ones for this are... Oh, wait. Oh crap. Oh, I'm missing out my price hike or my money hike. It's annoying. Let's see here. Uh, barrel, barrel. Well, mock station first, of course. See what's new to do. Flutter, stroll, magic, Libra, magic, and rhapsody. So we need, what, two. Seven, four, seven, ten. So to heal, Forest Notcher is actually takes effect multiple times. All right. Oh yeah. Ah, pure Miller Jewel you get from completing that one as well. So he really doesn't do anything useful for now literally nothing in his attacks that are actually worthwhile doing. So I don't have any of them unlocked. Right. So pretty much I'm better off just leaving him off for another wee while. That's grand. I suppose. Um, I'll go for the healing direction first though. Two. I need three. Five, I need five. And I need three, six, seven, eight. Five and eight. That's what we need for it. So just keep Mog Station around for a while, but not keep him on it, and then that means I can put um, Pidgey back on to the stack. Works for me. Uh, cool. Um, and back to Mirage Boards for Failed Evo to take a look at what he's got. Uh, we currently... Uh, focus goes up. Uh, magic... Well, I mean, you said you use a skill to actually increase your magic. But, um, you're not going to be casting magic that often, are you? Well, you're going to be casting dark, but I don't have any magic spells to go along with it. So I need to put somebody on you that's actually got magic spells. 
Um, which would probably be Snowjack, to be honest. Snowjerk. Yeah, Snowjerk it is. Um, so he already has Blizzard, which is the one skill I have, and I'm going to give him something like this. I only got two points. So I can't really go anywhere with this, even as it is. I suppose I'll take the support. Well, at least now I actually have a mage attack. And he's probably, he's stacked for violence really now. So she'll have darkness and... She should have darkness and ice essentially now. While he'll have just beatdowns. I think that works. Yeah. It's easy way to check now. Blizzard. Cure Libra Foxfire. So we got Fire and Ice, which is a good combination. Uh, we've got Hypnosis to knock down. Uh, we have Horn to attack. And we have uh, just good old Flash Beatdowns. Right. Well, at least that's that done. <laughs> I suppose, I mean, essentially, I was uh, planning to just kind of jump straight back into the story, but then of course it pulled me here to the Coliseum. So um, maybe we'll actually call it at a quick video on that. That was actually just uh, a kind of combat-y heavy one for joining the Coliseum. Looking at the stacks and where we're set up for the next battle. Um, yeah, I think we'll might just kind of make a split here and we'll rob into the next episode for the actual beginning of chapter five. It's amazing what kind of distracts you along the way, but um, I'm liking this Coliseum idea, the multiplayer is in there. In fact, do you know what? Is there any way I can jump in and grab a quick multiplayer game? That might actually... That, I'm going to do my first multiplayer game on this. Hopefully there's actually somebody about to do this. Um, we'll give it a try, see how it works. We'll set up teams here. Let's stack set up. See, I don't have anything that's in large. So that's a problem. Crap. Didn't even think about that. I don't have any of the transfigurations there. So this is going to be interesting. Try this now anyway. Nah. Can't be done. So I have to wait until I have large ones before I can do this. Eh. So I wonder what the tree is. So if that's the case, I can't do multiplayer, but... I wonder what's in the trades. Is there like a trade market? There is? There's like a market? Okay, cool. Um, large. Mirage type, doesn't really matter. I just want to search. So if there's anybody willing to trade at the moment? Uh, nah, doesn't look like it. So that makes sense. So nobody's willing to trade larges, but if somebody's going to... I might just set this to any. Do you have any rooms show up at all? Oh, cool. Demog. And player one. <laughs> okay, pick me up. Oh, so he's looking for a specific one? Your Rugu? Okay, looks like room no longer exists. Suppose it doesn't really show that many. The rooms are the only showing two. And they're gone. <laughs> I'm imagining the one guy who was in a room found the other guy and was like, oh, that's exactly what I want, too. Oh, well. So, of course, we didn't get the like, property look into the multiplayer stuff, but what can you do? So, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been a, look at the a first look at the Coliseum in uh, World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final the Fantasy. The World of Final Fantasy. 
yeah, that's been my first look into the Coliseum on this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I was excited as soon as I saw this. I love the idea of there being multiplayer. Obviously, there's nobody in it, so more people need to play this game so I can play uh, some multiplayer battles. I'll probably set up some teams and that combat multiplayer is probably still... There's probably a lot more people doing that than trading at the same time, especially this time of night, I'm sure, within the EU. So uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, there's a subscribe button right up there that you can hit that'll allow you to actually kind of subscribe to the channel and see everything as it comes out. And if you look over on this side, there's actually episodes of this series as well as links to playlists of other stuff on the channel. Feel free to click on any of those. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. If you enjoy them, make sure to hit the like buttons and all the comments. And if you have any questions or thoughts, make sure to say them underneath. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Bye.